Hi guys, welcome to Mash Tips. Apple recently launched this $99 HomePod Mini that comes with an additional 20 watt USB-C adapter. The HomePod Mini requires 20 watt USB-C adapter to work perfectly. But recent updates from Apple uh, with the latest 14.3 version now it start to work with 18 watts power adapter too. So let us see what are the adapters is going to work with this HomePod Mini and what would be the best one to power up this little guy. Did you ever see this yellow flickering light on top of this HomePod Mini? The problem is the power supply is not enough to power up this HomePod Mini. So the question is that if you want to replace with an additional adapter or if you want to buy a second power adapter for this HomePod Mini, what would be the best one you can choose? Or how do you pick the right one? So we are going to answer a couple of questions here. To measure the power requirement of HomePod Mini, we randomly picked a couple of power adapters. This varies from 18 watt to 45 watts. And also we included some additional power bank and a USB-C car power supply adapter. To measure the power drawing from the power adapter, we are going to use a USB digital multimeter here. The device can display the voltage and the current going through the USB-C ports. This is the power adapter comes with the HomePod Mini from Apple rated 20 watts, 9 volt, 2.22 amps. I'm going to connect this power adapter through my USB digital tester and we will see what would be the output rate. I noticed that the voltage is set to 9 volt and the current is slightly varying. It's taking only 0 0.07 amps or 0 0.05 amps while the HomePod Mini is booting up. It took around 0.14 amps maximum during this booting process. This is the power adapter, comes with a Pixel phone and this one is rated for 9 volt 2 amps USB-C port. So that comes around approximately 18 watts that's the minimum power requirement for HomePod Mini recommended by Apple. The USB meter when we connect to the HomePod Mini is showing around 9.06 volt output from the power supply. And the maximum current taken by the HomePod Mini is around 0.12 amps. And let us do some voice tests and see how much current is gonna take. Hey Siri. Can you play a song? Sure. That's it. It took less than one ampere in 40 percentage volume that we set to on ZD, but still is working without any issue with this power adapter. This is a NetMeet home charger with a multi USB port and a USB C adapter. The USB C adapter is offering different voltages. It's uh, uh, varying from 5 volt, 9 volt and 12 volts. And for the 9 volts that we are interested for HomePod Mini, it's offering up to 2 amps and the total wattage would be 18 watts. So this is another 18 watts adapter, comes with additional USB ports that we can test with the HomePod Mini. The USB port is capable to deliver up to 12 volt, but as you see here, the home port required only 9 volt. It's designed for 9 volts input voltage. So the power adapter is supplying only 9 volt through the USB-C port and the current depends on the volume level and the music vary from uh, 0.2 amps to up to 2.2 amps if it's able to deliver that much power. Hey CD. What is the weather? It's currently cloudy and 73 degrees. Expect mostly clear skies starting tonight. 
Temperatures are heading down from 73 degrees to 57 tonight. This power bricks from raw power that comes with the two PD ports, each has supply level of 45 watts each and that can supply 5 volt, 9 volt, 12 volt and 15 volts. And the maximum power in each port can supply up to 15 volt, 3 amps that comes around 45 watts each. So I'm interested on this power adapter because I usually use to do this power adapter to charge my Mac and at the same time you can use the same power adapter the second port for connecting your home port mini so let us see what's going to happen if you connect your home port mini and your mac at the same time on this power adapter if you have a multiple usb c port outputs and if they can provide enough supply you can use a single power brick for all of your devices so now i connected my home port mini and also i charging my MacBook Pro from the same adapter. Did you ever try to connect this HomePod Mini with your power bank? Is that gonna work? Or did you ever try with your car charger? Is that going to be work? So... I don't see a charger in your contacts. Who would you like to call? It's working. It's connected to the sure power bank. Now you see the video that your HomePod Mini can work with the battery pack. So if you have a power bank with the USB-C ports that can supply at least 18 watts, it's gonna work with your HomePod Mini. Hey Siri, how is the weather? It's currently cloudy, cloud 72 degrees. Expect mostly clear skies starting tonight. Temperatures are heading down from 72 degrees to 57 tonight. Is this going to work with this tiny 18 watt car charger? This is one of my favorite device that I use in my car to charge my iPhone or any other gadgets. The main advantage of this thing is it's a PD output that can supply up to 18 watts with this tiny device and that's offering 9 volt 2 amps or 12 volt 1.5 amps. So this fall around 18 watts output altogether and you can use this device to charge your HomePod Mini. With this car charger the HomePod Mini is almost powered with 9.12 volt it's slightly varying and for the normal operation it's taking around less than 1 amps in a 40 percentage volume. We don't see any difference between the power offered by uh, the wall adapter or this car charger so both are working fine and supplying enough power. Best music quality without any distortion the HomePod Mini should have enough power from the power adapter. So now we are going to test the HomePod Mini with the maximum volume and going to play the music. Hey Siri, set the volume 100. That's very loud. Are you sure? Yes. In this max volume with the HomePod Mini, we notice that the current is peaking up to 2.06 amps. Sometimes it's went up to 2.2, but most of the power supply is capable to handle this peak power variation. So it is safe to operate 18 watts. That's recommended by Apple. And as long as you have a 9 volt USB-C power supply that can handle up to 2 amps or 18 watts altogether, that would be good enough. Thank you. 